Yes, we had a little interruption with man phone call. Um, and as I've said before, he is the resident man. And whenever I call him that, it is a term of endearment. It is not anything that is meant derogatory. Um, it's amazing how many times I can brush my hair out and still find tangles. Um, but while I was talking to him, I went ahead and brushed my teeth. Um, gonna brush through my hair and you know, put some product in it to kind of shine it a little bit more. I don't know if it's transitioning to the different shampoo that doesn't have sulfites and all that other fantastic stuff in it that is causing this, but I seem to have a lot of static in my hair. A lot of, I don't know what you could call it, it's not exactly frizzies, maybe it is frizzies, I don't know. Um, Desperately need to have it trimmed. Maybe, hopefully soon, I can get down to CW or take my chances on another hairdresser here in Lexington. That just really really, really is not a thought plant process. And yes, I know I've, my train of thought was interrupted, and I hate when that happens, I'll just tell you. Um, genetically, my family can't keep a train of thought going. So... Um, also, I have ADHD, so, yeah, that's, and yes, the, br the brush just fell into the sink. It's one of those days. Um, uh, going to put a little Garnier Fruit Tea Sleek and Shine on my hair, um, just because I need to use it up, pretty much. Um, I like it pretty well, but it just... It's one of them things that I could take or leave. And yes, we do. I'm sorry. I know you can't see me at this point in time, but I'll be completely back in just a minute because I'm just, you know, putting oil in my hair. And part of my hair is the back of my hair. And this is the easiest way to get it done. And I found a finger tank back in. Um, yeah, that's a little better. Um, kind of got a little too much at the top. I didn't really mean to do that. But hey, I'm not good at talking and doing things. Um, I'll brush that through and hopefully it will. It will be better. Um, and not going to go there. Okay. Um, I was talking about defending yourself. It is crucial. There is nobody on the face of this earth that needs to be more in charge of their own safety um, than you. Um, I live in a city. I keep my doors locked. Um, I let my dogs out, I lock my door while they're out, and when they come back in. Um, I do not leave my dogs unattended out in the yard. I own a boxer. I intend to keep her. Uh, in fact, if somebody was to do something stupid like steal her, I would probably lose my mind. I also have a shepherd boxer mix. Uh, I would feel the same way. Because people will do stupid things like steal your dog to use them as bait for dog fighting. Uh, now, I don't know if that happens here in Lexington. I just know that um, because all of our property is not gated, um, people walk through the backyard that is not in the gate um, as a shortcut getting to the bus stop and things of that nature. I don't really mind that. Um, however, um, which I, I also don't understand, people from like a block over from me have to bring their children up to here to catch the school bus. That's just ridiculous to me. Um, I don't know why the bus can't 
just go around the corner. The street's wide enough. Um, and I know that they make smaller buses. They have them in Bell County, and they're not just the little buses that for special needs children. They're smaller buses to navigate, smaller roads. Um, yeah, I have to lift a layer up to get, or part of it up to get to the bottom. Um, anyway, I was talking about my gun. Um, I've never, I've actually never ever fired it. Um, need to fix that. I had another 38. I had a six shot uh, charter arms, lightweight 38 um, for several years. Uh, sold it and bought the LCR because it was lighter. Um, always told my husband when I had a six shot. If something happens, something goes down and I fire in our home and I fire uh, my weapon five times, that six shot belongs to you if I don't see you. Now, I mean, he's a heavy sleeper. It's a joke. I really would not do this. Um, but, you know, if I, he's a heavy sleeper, but if I fire a weapon six times, I promise you my dog is going to be losing her mind. Um, before I fire, my dog is going to lose her mind. <laughs> That's, we have tested that theory. Um, not long after we moved in, had somebody decide to be cute and, uh, about, oh, I don't know, about four o'clock in the morning, just ring the crap out of my doorbell. Um, So, they quickly found out that wrong house to do that with. Um, I can't get this shine to go on through, so we may have to. It's, can't tell if it just looks shiny or dirty now. Um, I hate whenever that happens. A little misfire with the serum. Um, anyway, back to the gun. Because this is getting, I don't know how long, because I can't sit because I don't have my glasses on. Um, bottom line, uh, be aware of your surroundings. Be prepared. Be safe. Uh, don't depend on somebody else to protect you. They may not be there. Um, I didn't realize that well into my adult life because, you know, I always had my dad. Um, and I expected my husband to have the same thought process as my dad. They kind of don't. <laughs> um, they do, but they don't. Um, my dad is more alert. Um, he's more, um, not so much now, but when we were growing up, you know, if there was if somebody pulled in the driveway or whatever, he was on it um, more so than my husband is, and that's okay. I mean, we never had an issue or anything like that, so it's not a big deal. Um, I'm on it because it's you know my dad raised me. <laughs> um, it goes with being aware. Um, I can tell you that I really should make a more of a concerted effort to, to get to know my neighbors. I think I know four of my neighbors that I actually interacted with. Um, I know the people on this side, the people on this side, and the house next to, we kind of congregate uh, periodically um, and help each other out and stuff like that. Um, my neighbor on this side helps with the dogs when I have to go out of town. Um, I'd be lost without her. You know, she keeps me, she, she listens to me, and, you know, we kind of hold, we kind of keep each other together. Um, but I have totally derailed my train of thought. So my thought for right now is just to make sure to protect yourself. Um, it's important, and I am not a violent person. I really, I like the fact that my weapon of protection um, 
has not ever been fired. Um, I shoot right-handed. When, when earlier when I was putting my mascara on, I told you that I can do. Um, if you see me using my left hand, I'm technically left-handed, but I can use both of them pretty much equally. Um, I shoot right-handed, and I have a scar on my thumb to prove that. Uh, I was shooting a 380 years ago. We were shooting targets, me and my dad, and I was talking to him and not paying attention completely enough to what I needed to what, to what I was doing. And when I aim with a automatic weapon, I aim, I drop my hand as I'm bringing the gun down into stance. Um, it just it's just how I do it. Um, some people don't, you know. Some people automatically brace, um, or some people don't have to. I have issues with my back and my neck and stuff like that, so I have to brace, but I have to brace as after I, as I'm aiming, I brace. Um, and I, I can shoot with my left hand too, so, you know, whenever I brace, I brace one way or the other. Um, I was shooting right-handed, I uh, was talking to my dad, for a split second, my attention diverted from bringing the weapon down to my dad. A split second. In that amount of time, and no, I was shooting left-handed. In that amount of time, I did not drop my hand down far enough, and my thumb did not clear the slide. And the slide caught it. And I ended up having to go to the emergency room and get stitches. Uh, the PA that was there at the time just loved whenever I came to visit her because I always have a story. There's something, things that you just you kind of go, how did that happen? I'm that person that how did that happen? Happens to. Um, and I don't have to make it up. It really happens. Um, but anyway, if you have any questions, comments, and yes, I probably shouldn't wipe my nose as much as I do in videos, but it's either that or you see it. And we're going to go to it land. Um, I would really like it if you like my video. would like it if you subscribe. I'm just taking you into my world. Um, uh, really nothing super fantastic. Uh, I've watched several other videos and I've learned some stuff that I didn't know. I've modified some things. I felt encouraged. And that hopefully is what I am paying forward, so to speak, to you. Um, yes, I will talk about pain. Yes, I will talk about, you know, my migraine-ish issue. Uh, I will talk about Meniere's disease. Uh, there are other things that people deal with and contend with. People all around the world have sick children. I have a friend of mine here in town that lost a child to Batten disease. Um, this week, the 16th was her. Would, she would have been four years old. She died last year. Um, she passed away as my grandson was being born. Um, she passed away about 10 o'clock on the 16th, and my grandson was, my daughter was in distress about that time, and my grandson ended up being born. Emergency C-section on the 17th. Um, way early in the morning, and with one very irate granny, um, Sometimes I, doctors are people, I get that. Nurses are people, I get that. Um, I also think that they need to take a little bit more time and listen way better than they do. Um, just to, for instance, my sister has bronchitis. A week ago, they admitted her into the hospital. She couldn't breathe. Raspy sounding when she's talking. You can tell that it's like <gasps> breathing. Um, bronchitis. Bronchitis. They admitted her and kept her overnight, thinking she had a heart attack. They did an EKG on her immediately. They kept giving her nitro. She kept telling them, it's not my heart. Got out of the hospital, went back to the doctor. The doctor said, are you serious? They let you leave. They gave her zero antibiotics, zero breathing treatments. What? Um, and yeah, this is just kind of a separate little, 
just because I can. And some days we will just go there because I can. Um, I seriously need to finish. We'll just do it now. Um, but I was, um, I'm sorry. This may be. Something that freaks everybody out. I don't care. I like red lipstick. I've worn red lipstick pretty much all of my adult life. I couldn't wear it when I was at home because, and even to this day, uh, I worked on one of my dad's chemo uh, appointments. Um, the first thing he said to me was, I've never seen you look like that before. I like that, uh, that red lip, you look pretty, but take that red lipstick off. Um, <laughs> and I'm 40, I was 48 at the time. Um, I, I have never in his eyes grown up and I didn't understand it for the longest time until I became a mom. Uh, my daughter is now a mom. She has been for over a year. Um, and in my eyes, she's still my little girl. Uh, so... I've been wearing my red lipstick. I have instructed my daughter that uh, when the time comes that I pass, I would prefer to be cremated and just go with it. But the list of instructions, even if I have to go into a nursing facility or whatever, because I'm probably going to be a poopy old lady, I'm taking notes from old people. I'm going to enjoy being old as much as I possibly can. Um, you know, when, when I was little, we, in Sunday school and church, we sang a song that says, The joy of the Lord is my strength. And while that is oh so true, joy comes within. Joy comes within who you are and who you how you view yourself. And if you view yourself as I do, I'm a little princess. Uh, I'm not a dainty little, I can get my hands dirty person. Um... I just, you know, I garden and I have a worm bin. I wear gloves. I wear gloves. I wear gloves. Some most of the time. Um, and dealing with the worm bin all of the time because, yeah, we'll we'll cover that at another time. Um, but my thoughts are just going crazy. The ADHD has fully engaged for today, um, which I just adore when that happens. Um, and I'm sitting here looking in the mirror going, eh, I have no lipstick on my teeth. Yay. Um, that's one thing that you have to be aware of when you wear red lipstick is that you have to make sure you have no lipstick on your teeth. Um, just totally will ruin your look. Um, I really am so tempted to not put my tennis shoes on because my leopard ballerina slippers are so much more comfortable. Um. I don't know. I never have been a big leopard print person. Never have been an animal print person. But in the last couple of weeks or months, three or four maybe, suddenly it's caught my eye. I don't know. Um, I don't know. Um, and I, I have noticed that I tend to randomly my I'm, I'm sorry my train of thought this is just how my brain works and you know as I told you I'm conservative and I'm thinking that yes the CC cream stuff kind of it did help soften the forehead some um, maybe consider some bangs I don't know I just can't bring myself to I hate bangs um, can't bring myself to go to a layered hair thing again, nor to bangs, even though it would probably remove some of the heaviness and weight of my hair. Um, and I figured when I went to the neurologist that that would be one of the first things that he said was, well, you know, the weight of your hair, you have so much hair that's causing your headaches. I've heard that before, and it could be, but I'm not cutting it. It's the last thing that I'm... That's way down on my list. Um, it just is. I It won't drag the ground. It won't be, you know, like, t 
to my ankle, to my knees or anything like that. It may be just because my aunts did it. <laughs> Two of my mom's sisters, uh, my Aunt Betty's hair was down to her ankles when she cut it. Uh, I think my Aunt Corey's hair was down to her knees. Um, all of them had beautiful hair. Um, my mother still has beautiful hair. It's thinning a little bit, but it's still beautiful. Um, and it's one of those situations where if she would listen to me, I could remedy it. Um, but, you know, she doesn't seem to think that changing anything, you know, it's, she's older than me. We'll leave it at that. Um, that sounded way more ugly than I intended for it to sound. Um, forgive me, Mom. I didn't, your Mom gets me. Um, but anyway, I have exhausted my train of thought. It's just derailed, and whatever it was prior to the phone call that I intended to say is gone. So, and my day is spinning, time's ticking. Um, I'm not sure now if I'm going to put my hair up or not because that the front of it is rather a little con conservative shine and I can't really uh, can't really figure out what to do with it. Um, and I set my makeup kind of like in the mascara. We'll try it. Um, remind me the funny Estee Lauder story. Remind me. We'll get to that. Um, gonna go shop. See the excitement, see the excitement. Um, yeah, <laughs> I think that I must have been a man or something, or supposed to have been. I don't know. I don't, I do not like to like hours and hours and hours shop. I'm gonna cut out for that. Um, I'm kind of a take back after my father. I kind of want to get in there, get what I came in for, and get out of Dodge. Uh, because, you know, otherwise, I can spend hours because I'm wandering around aimlessly trying to remember what it was I came in the store for and buying things that I really don't need. Yeah, anybody else ever do that? <laughs> you get home and you got the stuff that you bought that you just didn't really need. Just because it was on the shelf, it looked really pretty, and boom, there you got it. Um, and I said way while ago, this is starting to resemble a phone call with one of my family members, like my mother, where we say, okay, that's all I had to say. Uh, I'm going to get off of here so I can get some stuff done. And 20 minutes later, we're still talking. That's the way that works in my family. And I think we're just going to kind of twist that back. See how that works. Probably should have. I can't believe I did that. I never make that mistake. I'm just going to have a little corn. Um, a little better. Eh, this is just going to be unpleasant today. Uh, all else fails, I have cornstarch. Um, Little tip, ladies, if you don't have dry shampoo, use cornstarch. Yeah, a little bit, not a lot, a little bit. Yeah, it will serve the same purpose as, um, this is, you see this mistake? Wait, no, that's this, okay. I sometimes can't, just can't figure out which part is which. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna shut this down. Get my day going. And check in later with you. Um, have a great day. Be blessed. Be kind to yourself. Be kind to each other. Be courteous. Be aware. Um, do not give up. Courage in the fire, people. Courage in the fire. One day at a time left foot forward and I'm out